Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video, doing the weekend forecast for today's Spur video. So, as always on Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the weekend. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released the EC42 day up for the UK and Ireland. And if that was not going to take 14 day with all of the regular features coming up for you later on this afternoon, please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and thank you so much everybody for doing that thank you so much to the weather outlook and to Vata for supplying the charts of the data as well by the way links in the description with the video as always right so been thoroughly wet again across much of the uh, northern and uh, central eastern scotland you can see the extent of the rain here um no, exactly where we don't need it it's been pouring and pouring and pouring all morning this is the final day with impacts from Storm Babette. However, things will be easing from here on in. So this rain is going to gradually be trudging its way northwards. Some hill, sleet and snow will be mixed in as well. Meanwhile, further south, we've got these heavy showers across East Anglia and South East England and a band of rain through the Midlands as well, though that's relatively light and uh, patchy. So out west, it's been mostly dry except for a few uh, showers peppering most western coast. Right, here's today's hot pressure up then. So the average rain pressure that is storm was storm the bet. Still sitting over top of the country. It's on its way out though. The worst is almost over. So for the rest of the afternoon, most outbreaks of heavy persistent rain with hill slip snow mixed in across central northern east Scotland will carry on moving. Uh, normal, so things will gradually start to dry up through central and eastern Scotland. Watch out if that's safe as of since so it's in over high ground. Further southeast, we'll have more heavy showers through East Anglia, South East England, possibly some longer spells of rain through the Midlands into central southern England as well. Generally, everything moving eastwards as the afternoon wears on. The driest weather will be out west today, but not completely dry. There will be some showers mixed in there. Temperatures ranging from around, say, 5 to 14 degrees. Quite cold in the far north again. That persistent rain. Overnight tonight, the air rain pressure is storm. The bet finally starts to move away. So we'll have a wet evening across central and northern Scotland. That rain will carry on pushing northwards and will gradually clear from northern Scotland through the course of the night. But showers in the southeast will die out as well. So generally just a drying up night across most parts of the country. And by the end of the night, uh, showers will be peppering western, re western regions. And many areas will actually be turning dry with clear spells. It's going to be a colder night tonight. Most roads will be so down in the south. Temperatures ranging around 2 to 7. Watch out for a widespread ground frost, especially across rural parts of Scotland. Won't be a frost down in the south, of course. Over uh, into tomorrow, I should say Sunday, uh, we're going to find that uh, we actually have a drier day. A slight little transient ridge will build, but uh, low pressure is both to the south and west heralding more unsettled weather uh, next week. More about that in a moment. But Sunday should actually be a reasonable day with uh, mostly dry dishes, bright or sunny spells coming through. There will be a scattering of showers in the north and west. And those showers will be um, pushing central regions of day wears on. But uh, I think most central regions will actually stay dry tomorrow with sunny spells. Temperatures around 7 to 14 degrees. Have a pretty chilly night to come on Sunday night. And then this area's low pressure starts moving up from the south as we go through into uh, Monday. So this lower here will bring outbreaks of rain on Monday morning to Ireland, but most places will actually start Monday on a mostly dry note with some bright sun spells. Watch out for a few fog patches. Central, northern, and eastern regions will stay dry through much of the day with bright or sunny spells, but in the south and southeast, outbreaks of rain will start to move in from the south uh, during the afternoon. Some of that rain could be quite heavy in the south and southeast by the evening. Temperatures again somewhere between around 7 and 14 or 15 degrees, not too far from average. Low pressure moves northwards on Monday night, taking outbreaks of heavy rain through England and Wales. Then that wet weather will push northwards into Scotland, uh, Northern Ireland, and Northern England on Tuesday. Probably most of the rain across southern Scotland, I doubt it's going to be much in uh, northern regions. And far on behind, we'll see brighter sky, but with a few scattered showers uh, returning to central southern parts of England and Wales. 
Temperature turns up a persistent rain, probably only around 10 or 11 degrees. Otherwise, up to around uh, 13 or 14 or 15. So, again, uh, not too far from the average for time of the year. And then on Wednesday, the next area of rain pressure starts moving in from off the Atlantic. So, rain will die out overnight uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. We could get some quite dense um, widespread fog patches on Tuesday night. That's something to watch out for. And uh, possibly some uh, ground frost in the north and the east as well. So, a bit of a slow start to Wednesday. A bit of a misty murky start. Most of that should clear away with bright or sunny spells in central and eastern regions. But outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain coming back into either Wales, southwest England as the afternoon wears on along with, along with a freshening southerly southeast wind. Temperatures again around average for time of year 7 to 15. And then low pressure really in control into uh, Thursday. So Outbreaks of rain will spread north as leaves across the country on Wednesday evening and overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Most of that wet weather clears away from the northeast on Thursday morning to be replaced by sunshine and showers. And most showers might start merging into longer spells of rain in the west as Thursday afternoon wears on. Winds freshening as well. And temperatures around 7 to 14 once more. Uh, secondary low could start to come in around this main low on Friday. So that might uh, bring strong winds and heavy rain across southern and western regions. It's a long way off this, so that's just something to uh, be aware of. Possibility, it may not verify, but um, we might find shower merging to strong spells rain in the south and west on Friday. Otherwise, again, it's a case of sunshine and showers, and the temperatures on Friday once more close to average at 7, 14 degrees. Into next weekend, well, low pressure keeps it showering, on Saturday, and then a secondary low, a new area of low, could start moving in on Sunday. That possibly bringing about a severe gales and heavy rain uh, uh, as we go through the course of next weekend. Again, a bit of uncertainty about that, but it's just an idea about or a suggestion that uh, the very unsettled weather is set to continue into the final weekend of October. Let's have a quick look at charts from weather outlook. So, today got showers in the southeast and the heavy rain with hill snow in the north. Otherwise, there's a lot of dry. Uh, or increasingly dry and cloudy weather. Really. Tomorrow will be a much better day, much more aware of sunshine. A uh, few showers in the west, temperatures will be close to average, mainly dry. And then on Monday, again, quite a bit of dry weather, but later on in the day, outbreaks of rain will return to the south. And they'll spread northwards on Monday night. Tuesday, we'll see that persistent rain in the northeast clearing away, and then it's case of sunshine and showers. And then on Wednesday, wet and windy weather moving in from off the Atlantic and that will take us into a very unsettled end to the week with showers and or longer spells of rain and uh, winds will be strengthening as well. Temperatures won't be too far from average but in the strong winds and the rain it will feel quite cool. So in summary another unsettled week to come not as wet as it has been with Storm Babette worth saying but it's hardly going to help the flooding situation with further outbreaks of rain and strong winds at times and in between those rain bands there will be showers, temperatures will be close to average but under any persistent rain and with strong winds it will feel quite cool. Well, that's the weather for the weekend. We're going to be back uh, later on with 10 to 14 day, which will include all our red features. Come back for that then. For the weekend broadcast this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.